So question 13. Ooh. The last question in paper two of the 2014 National Five, you glance at that and think, well, it's a chord question because you've got this straight cut, this line joining two points in this conference of a circle. But then, in fact, when you look at the rest of it, no, it's not a chord question at all. What's the area of the cross section of this tunnel? And what's the area of this shape? What's the area of that shape, which is, if you like, a circle with a little bit, a segment clipped off of it? Well, there's two ways you could do that then. You could either consider it as the sum of two parts, which is a big, if you like, the big Pac-Man shaped part, which is a major sector with the addition of a triangle, which would be the simpler way of doing it because there's only two parts. Or you could think of it as a complete circle minus a segment. But then to find the area of that segment, you'd have to take a minor segment uh, sector and subtract this triangle from it. So there's less calculation here. In both of those methods, you'd have to work out the area of this triangle. So that needs to be done. In both methods, you'd have to then work out the area of a sector. Here, it's a major sector. But here, for the overall one, it's a minor sector. But with this method, you'd then also have to work out the area of that circle. So I'm not going to do it this way. I'm not going to find the area of this sector by using the fraction of pi r squared and then subtract the area of that triangle by whatever means to arrive at this little bit and then take it from the circle. That's the more sensible method here. Big sector minus plus triangle. So what have we got? Sector. The sector is a fraction of the circle. What fraction is it? Well, it's not 50. It's what's left of it. It's this part here. It's 310 out of 360 times the area of the circle. So that would be the first mark for that fraction for the sector. Same as if you were working out the minor sector and you did 50 out of 360, going that route. Then putting in the numbers, 310, I know it cancels, but you're using a calculator anyway, leaving pi alone in your calculator. Though if you use 3.14, you'd still get the answer. You get the correct marking no matter what you used for pi here, within reason. And the radius is 7, so times 7 squared. That gets a mark. But the final answer doesn't get a mark. It's the same as that previous question. The technique gets a mark, and all the calculations are lumped together as one mark for the correct calculations. The answer to this part is... 132.557 and so on metres squared. Now there's the triangle. It's got an angle in it. You're going to be using trigonometry. You could start to do things like, oh, well, I'd make it into a right angle triangle and work out separately what the base and the height is. But you don't need to because you know a formula for the area of a triangle when you've got two sides and the included angle. That's a half AB sine C. But you don't need to state that part. You can just jump into the configuration. A half of 7 times 7 times the sine of 50 degrees. Make sure your calculator's set in degrees. Now, that's worth a mark. Again, just knowing how to find the area of the triangle. I'll need to put it down anyway. Popping that in gives me 18.768 and so on square metres. Now comes the part. What's the area they're looking for? Well, it's going to be the sector plus the triangle doing it that way. So it's going to be 132.557, again the nuisance of the floating decimals, plus 18.768 and so on. That's worth a mark because that counts as your strategy. What was I doing? I was getting the sector and I was getting the triangle and I was going to add them. So there's four marks so far. The final mark will be for the answer. Fortunately, I've got this stored in my calculator. I haven't got all of that, so I'm going to lose a wee bit here. And you press that in, you get 151.325 and so on. So rounding that off, 151.3 square metres, just to give it one decimal place. And that would be your final mark. Because that includes all the previous calculations. 
this answer here wasn't worth a mark yet, this answer here wasn't worth a mark yet, until they all got bundled together here, and there's the five marks for it. Now, if instead of that you decided to do it as a circle with a segment missing, you'd have had to work out the area of the circle, work out the area of the segment and subtract it, but the area of the segment is again a compound calculation, because to get the segment, you'd have to take that slice, that sector with 50 degrees in it, and then take away the triangular part. Well, that sector at 50 degrees is just this calculation with a 50, which would give you 21.380 square metres. That triangle, you've done already, was 18.768 square metres. Subtracting them would give you this little bit of 2.612 square metres. Then it would just be a case of saying, what's the area of the circle? Take that little segment away from it. And the area of that circle, as in pi r squared, gives you 153.938 and so on. Subtract them away and you've got 151.3. Obviously the same answer, but much more calculation. That would be the sensible way just to look at it as those two parts. Major sector, Pac-Man sector, plus a triangle using the triangle formula.